Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and in this video I wanted to share with you top 5 applications for uncovering hidden text. And if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications about my new videos. Let's go! So now in this video I am going to present to you 5 free absolutely accessible applications that you can freely find on your Play Store uh, application and here after you download them now I'm going to show you uh, how do they work actually and uh, what of them actually the most beneficial for uncovering a text that you want to uncover. And let's start with PixArt. So basically PixArt is going to be my first application. And now I'm going to show you how we can do this. So basically I'm going to open up some uh, image and I want to uncover, uh, as you can see, black text painted with black color. And now I'm going to show you several settings how we can actually do this. So we need to press on tools and then we need to press on adjust and here we will see some adjustment parameters that we can uh, adjust or regulate in order for us to somehow uncover this text and so let's do this so first of all uh, brightness I suggest you choosing up to maybe even 70 or maybe even 80 because we want to highlight our uh, black text because it was painted with black color so let it be 70 next is going to be our contrast so contrast we definitely to the minimum because we want our contrast black color to be less uh, colorful next is going to be clarity so we clarity need to increase definitely because as you can see how this uh, clarity parameter actually affects our photo and as you can see, uh, if we just increase it to 100, we will see much, much clearer. Next is going to be saturation. We can uh, actually skip this one and the hue one and actually let's go straight to highlights. So highlights we definitely need to increase because this will, will be beneficial for our... And as you can see, this is pretty much okay. And let's go to our next settings, which is shadows. So shadows, we need to increase here. As you can see, it reduces this blackness and this, I would say, contrast of the black paint. And uh, this is actually our final result. As you can see, how we can actually see the photo. After I actually come through absolutely any application, every application that I'm going to show you in this video, you can decide by yourself which is better and we will objectively uh, tell uh, which application is better and that shows actually better result. And so let's go to our next application. Our next is going to be Snapseed. Actually, all my previous videos I've done with this uh, application, I think it's pretty uh, high quality application by Google, so you can trust it. It's absolutely simple and we can definitely use it to uh, uncover some painted text. And so let's go to our tools and to an image. Here I'm going to show you several, again, parameters that we can adjust in order to make our text much more visible. So let's start with our brightness. So brightness, I think we need to increase to the maximum. Yeah, it's exactly how it should be. Next is going to be contrast. Contrast, we always decrease if it's uh, some kind of a darker color. So basically around 63 maybe, yeah. That's fine. And let's go to our saturation. Here I suggesting you increasing the color because as you can see we will a little bit whiten our white uh, background that we can see here. Next is going to be ambience. So ambience, let's just try to increase it a little bit, maybe even to 100. Yeah, as you can see, we already can see some letters. Highlights actually we can decrease a little bit because when we decrease in our highlights, it decreases the most contrast uh, colors that we have here. And we have here black color, which is our paint. And let's go to our shadows. So shadows, we need to increase it in order to make our black color much, much less colorful. And as you can see, 
this application just fantastically uh, succeeded with unhiding the stacks and I definitely can recommend you using this uh, application by Google. And let's go to our next application which is Avaton and let's check this application out. So basically here we just need to go into tools again and now we need to, as you can see, we have here uh, several settings and let's start with exposure. So basically exposure is like brightness on itself. And so let's do this. We need to increase it to the maximum. As you can see, we don't have here any scale or any percent, but we can actually, uh, I would say on I, uh, add or take, uh, just press here in order to make our text much more visible. Let's go to our shadow. So shadow uh, should stay like this. We don't need to change anything. And next is going to be highlights. Let's do this. So highlights in this uh, specific application will be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to show you how we can actually do this. So we need to increase highlights and then we need to go into contrast. We need to a little bit decrease it. So maybe to this point give or take. And next is going to be, uh, again, we need to return to our highlights and here is going to be trick. So basically we need to make it uh, to the 100 and again to the 100. And as you can see, after this, we can absolutely successfully see our text very, very uh, lucidly. And as you can see, uh, all the letters are visible and none of them actually are covered with this paint. So I really I recommend you using also this application if you enjoyed this specific result. And let's go to our next application. Again, as I said, all of these applications are free. You can pretty simply download it from your uh, Play Store and use it uh, for your specific needs. And so let's uh, again choose our photo that we want to edit. And now let's go to our tools. So first of all is going to be adjust or ne we need to find our, as you can see here, yeah, we have our, again, exposure. So basically it's like brightness. I suggest always when we have such dark colors, I always suggest you to increase to the maximum our exposure or our brightness. We're confirming this. Next is going to be contrast. So contrast, we always need to decrease if we have such really opaque and dark colors. Let's go to the next. Next is going to be clarity. We sharper. Uh, need to skip a little bit and here I suggest you choosing maybe two or maybe a little bit more yeah something like this next is going to be tone let's go to our tone so highlights again this is the most I would say helpful setting in all of these applications because exactly highlights help us to highlight our text that we want to see so let's start with highlights I think around eight or nine let's just check this one out okay maybe okay like this and shadows let's decrease our shadows to maybe let's decide when we need to stop when we can see our text yeah around this let it be this one and as you can see we already can see our text and let's go to our next which is saturation so here I think we need to increase up to now I'm gonna show you this point up to four okay yeah that's gonna be great and let's go to our next one which is sharpen and now we need to increase it to the maximum in order to make our text much much sharper and for us to be able to see the stroke much much better and as you can see uh, I think that this application actually works pretty comfortably in every everything actually uh, we can see everything pretty comfortably and availably and as you can see all the text is not distorted or anything we can pretty simply read and see the text and so let's go to our last application which is Photoshop for Photoshop and let's go inside let's uh, now we need to open our photo that we want to and again, now we need to choose edit. 
and here we will see several settings that we want to apply for the specific uh, image. Let's press on our light or exposure and now we need to uh, brightness. I suggest always increasing our brightness because we have pretty dark color here which is uh, the paint actually and uh, next is going to be light of course we need to increase it to the maximum and next is going to be exposure which is we also is we are going to increase it to the maximum because as you can see while we are doing this all our black color is disappearing from our picture let's go to our contrast contrast i suggest you to decrease a little bit because again uh, which color is the most contrast on this picture it's black so when we decrease our uh, contrast we will decrease this blackness uh, of our paint and let's go to our next one which is highlights and let's increase this a little bit this won't make a lot of change but as you can see we already can see the text and as you saw in this video, several applications actually distort pictures more and several distort pictures, pictures less and which you prefer will be the best for you. And rem remember, all of these applications are free and accessible on your Play Store, so you can choose whatever you like for your own purposes. And so I hope that this video was really helpful for you. If you enjoyed watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to get notifications about my new videos.